Hey. How are you? Thank you very much. Right. Hey, thank you. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Welcome to New Hampshire. Thank you. Good morning. 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 Thank you all for welcoming us here, especially those who've waited for a little while for us to show up, and even those who are just innocently walking down the sidewalk. Right. Everyone welcome. A real honor to be here in your community. Absolutely beautiful, as is this state. I've uh, been driving it for the last two days. We're visiting every single one of the 10 counties on this trip. Incredibly dramatic when we're looking out the windshield as we're driving down the road. And absolutely beautiful when we're listening to people who care so much for this democracy take their responsibility and role so seriously. Make sure that the candidates who come before you answer your questions are accountable to you and that we select the best possible nominee to defeat Donald Trump in November 2020. And then to be able to hit the ground running in January of 2021 on every single one of the significant issues that we face. Making sure that in the wealthiest country on the planet, we can afford to take care of one another so everybody can see a doctor, every child to a therapist, everyone able to live to, learn to, earn to their full potential. An economy that serves a few too well and too many working too many jobs just to get by. We need to make sure that if this political democracy is to survive, we have something approaching economic democracy. There must be equal opportunity for a job, for higher education, to create wealth, to start a small business, to buy a home. Those things that too many take for granted and too many more do not have available to themselves in their lives. And if we are going to face the absolutely most important challenge before us, the one that our kids and their kids and the generations that follow are counting on us to confront, climate change, which we know, which we know is caused by our own emissions, our own excesses, and our own inaction. But we also know that there are 12 years within which to act globally, but needing the United States leadership on the world stage, once again being the indispensable nation, harnessing the power of 320 million people through the greatest mechanism that humankind has ever devised, a democracy that calls forth your resolve, your genius, your creativity, and ensures that we lead by example in transitioning off fossil fuels, discontinuing the emissions of greenhouse gases, ensuring that there are high wage, high value, high skill jobs connected to that, that everyone in this country has equal opportunity to work. And then we bring the nations of this world together, the unique convening power of the United States to face, confront, and overcome otherwise intractable problems. That's who we are when we are at our best. But all of this, all of this is premised on this democracy once again working for everyone. At a time that it is captured and corrupted by special interests, by corporations, and does not truly reflect the opportunity and potential of every single one of us. In states like mine, based on the color of your skin or your ethnicity, you may literally be drawn out of that democracy or have a voter ID law that does not allow you to prove who you are at the ballot box in order to vote. In a country where members of Congress choose their own voters instead of the other way around, where political action committees buy the outcomes of elections and the legislation that those elections produce, we are running a campaign that accepts not a single dime from a single political action committee. We're running a campaign for everyone. I do not
God care. No me importa. If you're a Republican or a Democrat, you come from a rural or an urban community, if you can trace your family tree back 10 generations, or if you just got here 10 days ago, who you love, to whom you pray, whatever the differences are, do not allow them to divide us now at this moment. Smith today. We are grateful to be here with you. We're going to go inside and be able to answer some questions. And then if you are interested in still hanging out, <laughs> Cynthia is going to tr do her best to ensure that we take some pictures and get a chance to say hello. But, but last and most important thing, and I know that you are counting on this from me and every other single contender for the Democratic nomination, we will be back again and again to meet you again, to listen to you, to answer your questions, to meet your friends and family and neighbors. It's the only way that this is gonna work. It's the only way that I have any chance of earning your vote. It's the only way that we're gonna bring this state, this country, our people together and do the big work before us. Thank you for having yeah. us out here today.